So from my understanding, um, he is, uh, has never had experience in an area like this. Um, he's done no research. And so um, I know that the San Francisco Bay, especially this area is very dangerous. Um, the currents are really, really fierce. Um, it gets really windy and it can get foggy at times. And also, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but there are a lot of boats that come in and out of here. And so I feel that this is gonna be a huge challenge for him. Feeling prepared for his paddling world adventure. Sef Chaka starts his journey to his first destination. However, Yosemite has a big surprise for him. Caused by the forest fire, a blanket of smoke covers the entire park. Paddling on a flat water, streams and waves have prepared Sipchaka on his paddling adventures around the world. Now it's time to embark on his journey. Evidently, thousands of people are not visiting the park this year. Thick smoke covering the entire park is depriving the visitors of its natural beauty. Nevertheless, Sepchaka make a quick work of the Merced River. A relaxing three-mile paddle from the Yosemite village. Down to the Cathedral Beach near El Capitan. A good warm up for the next challenge ahead.
Sev Chaka is ready for his next challenge ahead. Huh? I'm, I'm ready. I heard it gets pretty cold out there. You better be careful so you don't freeze. What are you talking about? I'm not going to So I learned that Sef Chaka is in the process of adventuring around the world through paddling. And so we just left Lake Tahoe and now we're in the San Francisco Bay Area. And his plan is to paddle all the way to the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. The interesting thing about Seb Chaka is he wants to experience life um, from the perspective of normal people before he sits on his throne. So he wants to have adventures without his royal guards. And so this is the reason why he's taking on this huge challenge. After experience on different bodies of water, It is time to put his paddling skills to the test. Starting at Creasyfield Beach, passing the Torpedo Pier, the first pillar, crossing the bay and stop at Horoshio. A nice and easy two-mile paddling or so it seems. So from my understanding, um, he's done no research. And so um, I know that the San Francisco Bay, especially this area is very dangerous. Um, the currents are really, really fierce. Um, it gets really windy and it can get foggy at times. And also, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but there are a lot of boats that come in and out of here. And so I feel that this is gonna be a huge challenge for him. So I started filming Sep Chaka on the beach and when he entered the water, the water was really calm. It was pretty ideal conditions to do some paddling. So he moved under the pier and his plan was to paddle out to the center pillar. Once he got out there, he wanted the current to take him to the other side of the bridge. However, He's in for a big surprise. So he started paddling towards the first pillar. And I underestimated how far that pillar was away.
as he got about 500 feet before he reached the pillar. I completely lost him with the drone and I couldn't see him anymore.